this should be relatively simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate what each of the effects do, since it's easier to do that than to put it into words. So, the effects timeline, it works exactly the same as any of the position, scale, rotation, and color timelines of any object, in that you can add keyframes, change the values of the different effects on each keyframe, and use ease types to transition between the keyframes. Also, the first keyframe in each timeline determines the starting value of that object. So the first effect is move, uh, which just moves the camera around. As you can see, the very first keyframe, its coordinates are 0, 0, which means it'll start out at those coordinates, 0, 0. It's dead in the center. So just as an, an example, I'm going to have the camera start from where it is at this point and then move a bit upwards and stop at this point. So I'm just going to add a keyframe here and add a keyframe there by right clicking. And for the second keyframe, I'm going to set the Y position to 25. And now if we play this, it just moves up. You, it just gradually moves up 25 units. So for each of these effects, I'm just gonna place one keyframe here and another keyframe there just to show how the screen changes because this is a simple video and I don't want to have to commentate whenever I do this. So this next effect, zoom, lets you change the zoom of the camera. So I put a keyframe here, a keyframe there. I will set the zoom here to 80. So now, <laughs> now if I play it, it should look like this. So now let's move on to rotate. Now you might think rotate means it rotates the screen, and you're right because that's exactly what it does. Let's do it. I will click the second keyframe and change it to 90. So that means the entire screen should rotate 90 degrees. Now the player rotates along with it, so that makes things a bit complicated for level designers. Now uh, the next effect is shake, and that just shakes the camera. So the more uh, intensity there is, the more shaking there is. So theme is the next one, this just changes the theme, uh, and it can be used to change the background color when you need to. So next I'm going to do chromatic, delete these, put one keyframe here, another keyframe there, and then I will increase the chromatic aberration amount. And as you can see, this effect it just makes you high on acid. Uh, next, I'm going to go on to Bloom. Uh, lots of people ask, how do you make things glow? And that's what Bloom does. Bloom just makes things incredibly blurry. It does look cooler when it's on a level with a dark background, though. Next, I'm going to do Vignette. That's how it's pronounced, I had to look it up. The vignette basically makes the entire screen close around one area. And blackens the rest of it. This is basically what happened when Daffy Duck asked for a close-up. And you can center its position anywhere you want. Next, I'm going to do Lens, or Lens Distortion. The more you increase the Lens Distortion amount, the more distorted and fish-eyed the center of the screen gets. And finally, Film Grain. If you increase the intensity amount and the size of the grains, you can see that film grain is just
just for people who want to be annoying. So this next effect, zoom, it lets you change the zoom of the- JESUS CHRIST! I just saw a big spider! <laughs> I need to kill it! Wait! It's dead! That scared the crap out of me!